Either way, but uh, surely this Wakefield defence is going to be breached uh, with all this possession and position that the visitors have got. If they don't start scoring soon, they'll start getting even more frustrated. Well, I think the word at the moment in witness is frustration. I used a, a word or a couple of words last night in Boots and all to Dennis Betts. They are clinging on to their playoff spot. I don't think Dennis took too kindly to that, but um, I'm afraid that's the fact of life. They are clinging on at the moment. They're not clinging on to this match. They're bossing it in terms of possession, but they can't get over the line. Now they can. That's Danny Tickle. Danny Tickle gets the first try. We've had almost constant witness pressure for 17 and a half minutes and at last they get their reward danny tickle edging towards 100 uh, career tries and then witness have come up with a shocking pass well let's give credit to kainos but credit as well to richie moore it was richie moore that regained the ball a prop forward and got all the way back there there's the interception there from ice and you probably would have fancied a wingman to have finished that but all credit to jimmy kainos and richie moore for tracking back great tackle that is really just held up short and it's really been a four point saver that one very much so here come uh, wakefield now on the repost and reese lynn is quick reese lynn is very oh, quick should have passed he had the chance this is on the last will they play the power play or will they kick oh reese lynn is injured he gets to his feet mcshane finds mathers mathers then to tim smith Smith all along the deck, Arvan picks it up on his own line, goes to ground pretty quickly under the pressure from Washbrook. Good position there by uh, Patrick Arvan. This is more like it, isn't it? This is more like it, a playoff. Oh, here's a chance! Here's a major chance for the Wildcats. But Wayfield have shown a bit of class here to put themselves in the lead. Yeah, they, Lynn. they certainly look a lot more confident, don't they? And uh, you'll see, slowly but surely, the influence that Tim Smith, because he scored the try, that really will lift him. Steve will look more likely to score. That's the top bottom of it. You're doing with Scruton here. Will he be stopped? No, he won't. Or will he? The referee will hand this upstairs as well. He's not 100% sure, but Nick Scruton is. Think he's got it down in the end. Just check he's got Nick Scruton's convinced he scored the try, and this is a massive turnaround. I know it's only 4 0 at half time. It's remarkable when you think back a week, uh, Patrick Arvan standing offside, scores the try, would have leveled things against Castleford, might have been a different game. It was a bit high, that, on Paddy Flynn. Uh, here tonight, we've seen the break from Patrick Arvan, halted by Jimmy Kynhorst, might have won the game for Witness. As it is, we've had this turnaround in Fortunes and Wakefield now lead by 12 points to four. Yeah, it could have changed the complexion of uh, either of those games. Well, that surprised me. That, that, that's a good run there by John Clark. But all he had to do was actually touch the man who had not progressed, was not standing square. He would have got the penalty. Here's Mellor. Mellor with a deep kick into Wakefield territory. Mathers is after it. Oh, he might have oh, come up with this, Stefan Marsh. He Mathers has. was really slow. He was almost laboring towards the ball.